So please feel free to share, like, subscribe if you haven't already done so and you enjoy or find the content uh, useful. In tonight's video, I'm going to talk about getting to the point when you want something. I'm going to use an example. There's a guy who was a, I'd say, a colleague, acquaintance type colleague. Anyway, long story short, he got in touch a few months ago and through social media asked me how I was, how my family was, and so on and so forth. And I hadn't heard from this guy for years, practically. And it kind of was a red flag for me. I thought, okay, is this priming me? You know, what's he going to try and sell me? Or what's the agenda? Um, maybe I'm sort of come across as being cynical in that perspective, but I haven't heard from him or anything like that. And, and then he proceeded to, well, I emailed again, better than that, I emailed back, said, yeah, all's fine. And how's things with you? And, and it didn't take long before he sent me another email. And cutting a long story short, he was part of some sort of affiliate marketing product. I don't know, long story short anyway. But the point I'm trying to make here is that getting the point is really important because especially if you want sort of respect from people. Now, I, I'm not suggesting not getting in touch. I'm not suggesting not following up contacts. I know, uh, you know, networking is really important. But for me, the fact that sort of it tried to prime me, I just was disinterested. I didn't have any respect um, for anything beyond that. And okay, maybe it's myself. Maybe, maybe it's a, one of my shortcomings. I don't know. But the point is, really, I thought, okay, um, irrespective of what it was he wanted to sort of propose to me, put forward to me, it would have been a lot better had he just went, got to the point. And I think that's really important for me. And certainly, you know, I don't profess to be a business expert per se, but I really think it's important from, from, from a business point of view um, to, to get to the point, to get that sort of uh, respect. And, and I use that example because for me, okay, he's putting this sort of proposal across to me, but also on top of that, he suggested if I had any family interested in this product, he was putting forward amongst other things. And, and that was after he'd asked me how I was and so on and so forth. So obviously I had no interest in anything to do with, you know, and that's fine. That's, that's okay. It's not a problem with that. So the point being, it's, I think for me, important to, you know, get to the point. No, um, now I'm not suggesting that basically, okay, you know, we check up on people, we see how we are and sort of we're genuine about that. But certainly if someone's got like an agenda, which people do, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a problem, obviously, if they want to, you know, put something forward, whatever. But I think if someone has got like a, you know, and I didn't, I think it's really important to sort of get straight to the point. You've got more of a chance of the other person sort of taking that into consideration. And look, that wasn't the only time that sort of happened in my experience. And I'm sure the same things happened to you. But for me personally, and certainly the people I speak to sort of share the same sort of um, thought process where, okay. And equally, you know, I think that for me as well, sort of, you know, as someone, it's sort of straight to the point, really, in terms of, you know, getting, you know, cutting the, the chase and getting to the point. So, yeah, the moral video is really, I think that, you know, if we've got, I want to put something forward or, you know, an agenda to go with something, I think it's, you know, really important to get straight to the point. You'll get a lot more respect of the person that you're putting that sort of um, proposal forward to. So, Share, like, subscribe if you haven't already done so already. If you enjoy the content and find you sort of get some value.